Hey YouTube, it's Arian, aka Fairy Cakes XOXO. I'm back again with another video, and this video is just basically going to be another tag video that I've seen um, floating about YouTube, and a lot of people have done their own versions of it. Well, mainly, well, actually, the reason why I said that is because um, the initial tag was created to only host five random facts about yourself. But a lot of people have done over five, so I think I, I, there's some people who've done like eight or ten, and then there's some who've done like seventeen, and then the highest one I've seen is twenty-five. So basically, I'm going to do my own tag, and um, in this tag, it's going to be fourteen. But um, the sort of um, the mechanics of everything if I tagged you is it has to be your favourite number and then you need to come up with random facts about you that's basically up to that number so if your favourite number is 14 then you come up with 14 random facts and if your favourite number is 8 then you come up with 8 random facts obviously and so on and so forth so first fact is my left eye is slightly smaller than my right eye. I don't know if you can notice it, but um, if I take off my glasses, you will see that this eye is slightly smaller than this one. Let me... Yeah. So, well, I don't know if it's that noticeable, but whenever I look in the mirror, I always, always, always see... Well, I always see that it's slightly smaller than this one anyway, but in any case, that was my first one. Um, my second one is... Every single day, I shave facial hair around this area. So, it's basically because um, I don't like having facial hair, but to some people it might be okay. Well, actually, to some people it does look good, especially to those guys who have that sort of, like, rugged look. But, yeah, but not to me. I don't think it suits me, so that's why I always shave. And whenever I see sort of, like, stubbles, it kind of go into... I kind of go into this slightly panic thing that, oh my gosh, it's visible. I need to shave it off. So that's why... I do it every day. So that was my second one. My third one is I don't own anything designer. So basically in my entire wardrobe you can go through it and you will not find a single designer item. Now I know that's kind of shocking because I love fashion like seriously. Um, fashion is like my sort of forte. It's, it's something that I know I'm really good at and um, but sadly, I don't own anything. I don't own a single item that's designer. So, well, I don't know if you can count Swarovski as designer, but yeah, I don't own one. I don't own anything. Um, so, on to my fourth one. When I was young, and I lived in the Philippines then, my parents worked in a hacienda. So, we lived there as well. And a lot of my friends know that I'm not the outdoorsy type so that was kind of um that was kind of a revelation that i lived in a hacienda before which is a lot which has like a lot of outdoor stuff and our our house was like near so well it's slightly in the hill so it was basically isolated and we were around like um the cattle and like the chicken coop a lot. We had a chicken coop and obviously because the the agenda has a cattle and it also has horses, our house is near there. So technically I kind of lived in a farm before, even though I'm not an outdoorsy type now. So yeah. My fifth one is I I've never drank alcohol in my entire life. Like for fact I swear on my wardrobe I, wardrobe sorry I've never drank alcohol in my entire life um so that was my fifth one um my sixth fact random fact that is is 
I don't smoke either. So, I don't smoke and I don't drink at all. Never tried it before. So, those are, that. that's my number six. No, no, that's my number six. Yeah, that's right. Number seven. This is a weird one and I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but whenever I go to sleep, whenever I can't sleep, I all, I tend to, what I tend to do is I rub my feet against the mattress. I don't know why I do it, but it just kind of calms me down and it kind of um, gets me in this sort of like mindset that, oh, I need to go to sleep. It's really weird, I know. Actually, do you know, it's not really weird because I think I got that from my mom because my mom does that as well, but anyways moving on that was slightly embarrassing um my number eight random fact is um on the 11th of june 2010 i paid one pound 45 for a venti caramel macchiato and a cheese roll that's worth four pounds 45 because it was my birthday and the reason behind that, it was because when I came into Starbucks, I wore this big, um, well, that entire day, actually, um, I wore this big badge. It's a big red badge that says, it's my birthday today. And the guy at Starbucks was really nice to give me, like, a £3 off on the usual breakfast that I get from Starbucks. So... I paid £1.45, so it was really, really nice, because it, it kind of made my day really, really, like, really, really, sort of, it, it kind of just made my day, you know, um, so, my number nine fact is also one of my other embarrassing fact, the most emba- well, actually, no, it's one of, it's one of the few most embarrassing facts that I've I've done. Um, actually, no, sorry, I'm not embarrassed about it because a lot of people have said that fashion and gaming could never mix. Well, I have news flash for you. It can. And I'm actually one of them. I've actually played all Pokemon games in Nintendo since they first came out. Um, so that's my ninth. And my number 10 facts is, in 2009, for the whole year, I had the sniffles. Um, so, it was actually kind of um, weird, because I thought I was, like, um, permanently, like, ill. Or there was something that's, like, really, really um, wrong with me, because I had the sniffles for the entire year. And my friend kept telling me, oh, you need to go visit your GP, you need to get checked out, or I think there's something wrong with your nose. Um, and at the time, I was actually also taking medicines, because I, I really just wanted the sniffles to go away. It was actually also the same time that I kind of slightly got hooked on night nurse. Like, every single night, I would take night nurse, just so I could go to sleep, because of the sniffles. So it was really bad, but I'm so happy that it's gone like it was just like really weird that I had that for an entire year um so basically that was my number 10 random fact now my number 11 I'm kind of ashamed of this and embarrassed at the same time it's because as I'm sure you guys know I'm Filipino I was born in the Philippines and I was brought up in the Philippines now given given that sort of certain background you would kind of think that I would have general knowledge about the Filipino culture, which I do, but in the Philippines there are actually a subject about being Filipino, and that's about speaking the language, and mainly speaking the language and slightly about the culture. The culture part wasn't a problem, but the speaking it, that was my big problem. I actually failed the Filipino subject. I'm Filipino. I was born and raised in the Philippines and I failed Filipino subject. Um, so I actually thought that I would do average like on the subject but it turns out I didn't know enough. So that was my number 11. Um, my number 12, my number 12 fact is um, when I was in third grade, and this was back in the Philippines, I was a Boy Scout. I know, 
really, really weird. And how bizarre is that? Could you actually see me being a boy scout? It was weird, but it was a phase, basically. It was a phase. Everyone was doing it, so I thought, why not? Why not, you know? So I tried, I tried doing it, I tried doing it, but it was only for like one year. I didn't, I didn't go on for the next year because it was kind of pointless because I didn't really enjoy it. And I'm not much of a sleeping in the tent person. So yeah, that was my 12th. Um, the 13th um, random fact is me, my brother, um, actually no, wrong I laid out the sentence um, incorrectly, so let me rephrase that. Um, my 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 dad, my brother, and I all have the same initial, and that's basically the first name and the surname. So if someone calls and you know, if someone calls our house, can I speak to Mr. Humerang? Obviously we're going to ask which one, because there's three of us here. Um, and funny enough, my dad's name's Ariel, like the soap. Um, my brother's name's Aris, like the zodiac sign, but without the E. And my name, obviously, Arian. So it's kind of bizarre if I, if, if people ask me, oh, what's my dad's name? Oh, what's my brother's name? And then automatically after they found out all through, oh, 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 um, my brother and my dad's name, they're going to ask, oh, what's my mom's name? And my mom's name's like completely out of like the picture. So it was, it, it's kind of um, a random fact and a bizarre one at that. Um, so my last random fact, which is the 14th random fact, is I am slightly OCD. Like I say, I have a slight OCD. Um, I don't over obsessed about everything being neat and perfect. Only a few certain things. Like, um, for instance, with um, when I rearrange my wardrobe or when I organise my wardrobe, my 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 wardrobe's like organised in a cer certain way that I would know where everything is. Um, or where I'm at work, when I o open all of my computer applications, all of them will be laid out or opened in a sort of um, specific order. So that way, if I'm speaking to someone else, like on my side, I wouldn't have to look on. I wouldn't have to constantly look on the monitor to know where to click because I would already know by having them open in a certain way and it's the same case whenever I laid out writing tools on um, or sketching basically it, it I go very very neat and organized in every way but I don't over obsess about everything so basically that's my 14 random facts and I tag peace love and mojo to do a to do um, a random fact tag and also I tag Cam Reyes to do a random fact tag. Um, like I said again, it needs to be a random random fact that's based on your favourite number. So if your favourite number is 9, then you do 9 random facts. Anyways, like I said, before I forget again, I'm going to remind everyone. I If you're watching this video, then I tag you to do your own. And um, actually no, that's it. Basically, I know I've sounded, I've repeatedly said that so many times now, but yeah. So, um, it's Arian, aka Fairy Cakes, XOXO, signing off and reminding everyone to raise your glass and celebrate your individuality because being you is one fabulous thing. Bye everyone! Peace, love and mojo to do a to do um, a random fact tag and also I tag Cam Reyes to do a random fact. If you're watching this video then I tag you to do your own. Um, it's Arian aka Fairy Cakes XOXO signing off and reminding everyone to raise your glass and celebrate your individuality because being you is one fabulous thing. Bye everyone!